Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Egal Talks Football. It's your, it's your host, Egal, and I'm back again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Arsenal news today, as Thomas Partey is not going nowhere. He's staying, ladies and gentlemen, and Mikel Arteta himself has basically confirmed it. We're going to get into that, plus some news about a potential incoming signing in Mohamed Kudos. I did a video on this yesterday. Let me know what you guys think about him. And also... There's a couple more things that we need to discuss. But before we go any further, I got a question for you guys. I got a video I'm doing tomorrow, and I need you guys to decide what I'm going to do. Do you want to see a Premier League all-time draft? Do you want to see a current footballer draft that's every single footballer across all leagues? Or do you want to see a current Premier League draft with current players, and you can only have like two players from each team? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is it going to be number one? All-time Premier League, number two, current all footballers, number three, current only Premier League. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's get the show started. Let me know what you guys are watching from always. Big up to all the people watching across from Africa, North America, all the way in. I've even seen some people watching in the Caribbean, some people watching in uh, in India. I've seen some people watching in, uh, in Australia. Shout out to all you guys. Do me a favor. One thing that that we need your help with is to like the goddamn videos. It helps the, uh, it helps out so much when you like the videos. Please do do that and let's get the show started. You already know what it is. Thank you everyone. Let's get the show started. Here we go. Yes, 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 people. How is everyone doing today on this wonderful, what is it today? Wednesday evening. Let's get into it. First things first, we got to talk about Thomas Partey will be joining Arsenal on the U.S. tour. And Arsenal are no longer keen on selling Thomas Partey. This is fantastic news, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic news. I am so happy because I viewed getting rid of Thomas Partey and Xhaka as something that I would have considered as a mistake, even though I've, I've tried to speak logic into it. To me, it never really made sense because the money that they want to spend on the likes of Lavia is too much of a risk and it's not the, the return on investment is not there. Even if Declan Rice and Kai Havertz are the starters, I still view Thomas Partey as a key part to this team. And with his injury issues, next season, he won't have to play as many games. So this is an amazing thing that we want to keep Thomas Partey, as reported that he will be joining up with them Tuesday night as he will be back with the team. I don't know if he's going to be playing uh, as much uh, right, right, right away, but this is fantastic. Fantastic news, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the potential of keeping Thomas Partey because I did not want us to lose Thomas Partey. Now it does seem like if we're going to keep Thomas Partey, this is great. Imagine Declan Rice, Partey, Odegaard midfield. That is fire, my uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a fire midfield, and it's going to be an elite midfield for the years to come. And Mikel Arteta himself has somewhat kind of confirmed that this is the midfield he wants. He did, did, he did have a little interview, and let me show you guys what the interview had to say. Into the club. Is this something where you used to play with two more holding midfielders? Is this Declan that you can be protecting the back four, back three, mm -hmm. and we can play with two more advanced midfielders with a Havertz and Odegaard? Is that something that you're you're focused well, on? Now, now we have three very good holding midfielders with with him, Thomas, and, and Georgie. And I have to feed them in because they are so good, and, and I love playing with midfielders. So uh, yeah, we're thinking a few ways of and things that that we can do to to maximize their qualities, and at the end get the best out of them. It's not about the ideas of the coaches. Is what do we do for the team to flourish and everybody to feel comfortable in in the title. That is fantastic news, ladies and gentlemen. Mikel Arteta confirming that Thomas Partey not only will be staying, but confirming that Thomas Partey is part of the plans, Jorginho is part of the plans, and Declan Rice is part of the plans. For Of course, we spent all that money on him. Why wouldn't he be? This is great news, ladies and gentlemen, keeping him in the ranks, not having to worry about getting rid of Thomas Partey and having to find a replacement for Thomas Partey. This 
uh, this time in the transfer window. I'm happy. And you know what? I think we all are. Although some of you guys might want to get rid of Thomas Partey, we can still do that next summer as he's still under contract. Now, in other news, Cedric Suarez has, has been told that he wants to fight for his place, that he wants to stay. Now it's understood that Cedric Suarez is seeing all his options. He's been informed that there's been offer, options, uh, offers from the likes of Villarreal, Benfica, Porto and Sporting handing the Premier League club inquiries. Cedric Suarez is open to the offer. The 31-year-old has played over 150 appearances uh, at his time. Uh, sorry, what? Over 150 appearances in his final year of his contract following his loan at Fulham. There you go. So personally, if we can get rid of him, just get his wages off the books. Get him, get rid of him. I'm happy. I don't, I don't need a return on investment or anything like that on Cedric. Just get rid of him. At this moment in time, we're not making any money on Cedric. So let's just try to get him off the books as quick as possible and try to get somebody else in. I'm happy with that, in my opinion. Now, let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen. But for now, this is the sort, the current situation with that. Now, moving on from there, I don't know if you guys seen it. Yesterday was yesterday was the the MLS uh, All Stars and uh, All Star All Star Skill Challenge, and everyone is getting on to Kai Havertz. Yes, Kai Havertz did not have one of the best performances in the Skills Challenge. Personally, for me, I'm not too worried. Arsenal fans, I know it is worrying signs, but it is just a skills competition. Necessarily doesn't mean the players are fully up for it. It's basically like a training session. Yes, he missed all his shots. On another day, he could have made a bunch of them. Really and truly, the first touch challenge that he's also getting trolled for, it is what it is. But let me know, how many goals do you guys think he could be scored? How many goals or assists do you think he'll get come the end of the season? Over or under 10 goals and assists for Kai Havertz next season? Personally, for me, I say over, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section because, of course, Kai Havertz is absolutely getting crucified for his performance yesterday. And he wasn't the only one who had bad performances. Runnerson had a bad performance. Balogun had a shocking performance. But he is the one that's getting dragged through the mud because he is not the biggest. Fans are not a big favorite of his at this moment in time. So we're going to have to wait and see where things go from there. But guys like KBR, Timber, they balled out yesterday. They absolutely balled out. So if we're going to give credit to some people, we're going to give criticism to other people. And of course, the MLS All-Stars versus the MLS uh, versus Arsenal tonight at 1.30. It's going to be only on Apple TV. So you guys can get a free membership to Apple TV to watch it. If you guys need to watch it there, now let me let me get into uh, let me get into the Mohamed Kudos thingy, because Muhammad, the Mohamed Kudos thingy is what everybody was talking about yesterday. Now I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. Kudos is a baller. Is 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 he gonna be coming in and playing as a starter? I don't really think so. I think if we do bring in Kudos, we're gonna probably look at him as a potential. Backup. Yes, we're going to be potentially looking at him as a backup. But let me just let me just show you guys what 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 we need to talk about on this situation right here. What uh, what do you guys know about Mohamed Kudos? By the way, let me know what you guys know about him. The Ajax and Ga uh, Ghanaian international would be worth around forty million. Apparently, Arsenal are eyeing a move for him, as the Daily Mail confirms. Arsenal are interested in Ajax midfielder and must offload some players first, as reported by Samuel McBell. And reports are also saying that the price tag will be around forty million. Arsenal would uh, have to pay in order to sign Mohamed Kudos. I think 40 million is decent, but guess what? He might not be a, a starter. He could play also in the midfield and he can play on either wing on the left or the right. So this is somebody who can be a backup for Bakao Saka, a backup for Kai Havertz or, or uh, in that, in that eight role, or he could even start over ahead of Kai Havertz. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the potential signing of Mohamed Kudos. Personally, for me, it's a yes. Yesterday, I seen a lot of you guys in the chat saying yes, 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 you want him. So that's great to hear that you guys all all want to sign, all the want to signing of the player. It definitely does seem like he is going to be somebody who a lot of the fans are going to get get, get become very f f friendly with if he does come in because he's very very popular as a Ghanaian international as somebody who is at Ajax at the top level. I really do think a lot of you guys would like him if he does join Arsenal. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. And that's pretty much that. At the end of the day, I don't have much more to be said. I'm just going to say this. I have one question for you guys. Let me know 
if you got into this point in the video, let me know what is your favorite home, what is your favorite Arsenal kit over the last couple of years? Because yesterday's kit that was released is not one of my favorites. So I'm going to say my favorite Arsenal kit that's been released would I would have to say is that bruised banana kit back in the day, Ian Wright, the bruised banana kit, yellow and black. That look that looks like the best kit I've seen ever. The JVC yellow and black Arsenal kit back in the day. That was lit. But yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna bid you guys adieu. This has been a quick little video. Thomas Party is gonna be staying. Will we be getting Mohammed Kudos? And of course, Mikhail Arteta confirming that that's that's gonna be our midfield. Our midfield next season is gonna be fire let me know how far you guys think we can go in the premier league let me know what you guys think we can do in the league let me know what you guys want to talk about and also don't forget let me know what kind of draft you guys want me to do all-time premier league just current premier league or all current players i'm out of here people peace mm -hmm.